What's up? It's Cowboy Carcino here, and let's talk about it. Colin Kaepernick. Right? Just when you thought he was dying down in the news, the boy is back. Mm-mm-mm. Now, I like Marcellus Wiley. I do. Martellus Wiley is great. You know, it's just sometimes he says some things that should not be accepted. <laughs> but it's his opinion. It's his thoughts. It's what he feels. Can't knock a man for that. You know, and Martellus actually says something that, that struck a chord with me. He basically was just coming down completely on Kaepernick. And I just don't recall him being this critical of him. And him and others. Everybody so critical of him now. Because they love Jay-Z. What were your feelings at when this was happening? Now. To say Kaepernick was doing the things that he was doing. Absolutely. Absolutely. I've been on that boat since the very first day he decided to sit out. Remember, I told you exactly what I thought of the situation. I told you this and I did not sway. Now, with that being said, we move forward with the conversation of what's been happening. Now, a lot of people are name-blaming Cap, name-blaming Jay, and going back and forth. And the M NFL is just stretching their legs out, walking by, like, hey, you two argue it out. I'm out. Patting Jay on the back and said, great job. You're getting all the blame for us. Thank you. Uh, no problem. So... At this point, you're looking at, could Colin Kaepernick or Kaepernick even play right now? That's the bigger question to me. Three years in, can he even play this game? That's what I want to know. Because, see, the world is a very small place. The world is small. And because the world is small, time is like an essence. It's always still more time. Right? Then next thing you know, you blink and time is gone. It has been three years, and it looks like it's going to be four. Colin Kaepernick, uh, Colin Kaepernick, rather, is not going to be playing in this NFL. He last played in, what was it, 2016? He made it to the, he played, people forget that he actually played in the league that year. After the controversy of not sitting, you know, sitting and kneeling, he actually played. Yep, he played when he came in, got healthy. They decided to play him in the game, and he played, and he was okay, but they were team was losing, and they were so bad. It's just that at the end of the season, nobody was really caring about shutting him down. So all the points and yards they got, didn't really he was just auditioning for another team and that was that now there are some other issues I can point out that would really nail this in the butt But I don't know if I should bring that up. 
Ah, oh, screw it. Let's bring it up. <laughs> Colin Kaepernick, or Colin Kaepernick, rather, said and decided that at the end of that season, he was going to not take a knee anymore, that he was going to stand, that it was just to bring awareness, and that for the next season in the league, if he was on another team, he would not take a knee. He agreed to these terms. And he didn't get picked up for another team the next season. But he had agreed to stop kneeling. Y'all remember that? See how people forget stuff? He agreed to stop kneeling. And since he agreed to stop kneeling, what has happened? He did not get picked up for a team. Now it comes to the thing of can he even play the doggone game anymore at a high level. Players are younger. He's older. He was never a great quarterback. He was not a great thrower of the football. He had a strong arm, but had he was about a 40% with accuracy, probably lower. So if you're looking at the statistics, you're looking at a player in which you're looking at a player in which his time and his era has passed him by. So what team could you start for? You want to put him in as a backup for the Colts? And people love to say, oh, he turned down four offers. These were not offers. If I offered you to be on the team as a third string, you're never going to really play, but you'll be on the team just so I can shut people up and stop whatever we're doing. That's not an opportunity. The Seattle deal wasn't blown by Russell Westbrook, I mean by Colin Kaepernick. He just knew what they wanted him to do in Seattle. So I understood what Kaepernick was doing and said, oh, I get it. Y'all just want to shut me up. But obviously, all of that is null and void when they settled out of court and gave this man some money rather than go to trial when it was found in court that there was evidence of sabotage enough for them to proceed to go forward with the investigation I mean with the uh, actual trial date so if there was evidence found that there was corruption enough for them to proceed at the probable cause you know for them to even waste taxpayers' money, then there wouldn't have been an NFL settlement. But Kaepernick wasn't a great quarterback to begin with. He came in with this play they call the pistol from college, the option play. People have learned how to defend that. And over the years, you started to see what was happening to the pistol. And they thought, this pistol play is going to win the Super Bowl. And no, they stopped it. And yeah, he was fast running when he got the wheels going. But Kaepernick, come on. Seriously? Are we really seriously going to think this guy's going to come back to the league, get in the game, and just dominate? And what are we saying to players that's out there that's young, trying to get their spot? It's too late. To me, at this point, it's too late. He's lost four years of playing. 
in the NFL, and he's just going to bounce right back to the quarterback position? I don't think so. So, they have a lot of issues to clean up in the NFL. But definitely the treatment of uh, African American players and people of color in the league has definitely have to improve. I don't like the way they do black quarterbacks in general. Cam Newton could get hit by an atomic bomb. Well, he's big enough, so, you know, he's big enough to take those hits. It's not about his size or how big he is. He's a quarterback. If he gets hit with a helmet to helmet, that's a penalty. But if you breeze on any of the other quarterbacks, tap them on the shoulder like Brady or anybody else, they changing rules. Aaron Rodgers, oh my God, Aaron Rodgers keeps separating his shoulder. You know what? You can't land directly on them anymore and drive them into the ground. <laughs> so that's just excessive force. It's like, what? When did this become a rule? You see what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. This game used to be football. Used to be called football. Don't know what it is now, but it used to be called football. The like I said, the only good thing that has come out of all of this is it exposed the NFL's racism. They dug up the worms. The worms got dug up. Because all those racist people with their racist egos could not fathom losing a situation like this. They couldn't fathom it. How dare you? So they wanted to show their power and, and by doing so, it brought all this on center stage. And they didn't know they were messing with a time bomb. And that it spread it. The more they decided to make this thing a problem, they could have just forgotten about it and let him go on and do his thing, go to another team. It would have been swept under the rug. It wouldn't have been a problem anymore. You'd have nipped it all in the bud. But you let the problem grow. So now it festered in a lot of players' minds who already feel like this. Like, this guy's being treated better than me. You know, you started to feel that resentment over in Pittsburgh with Antonio Brown and Bell, the way they felt about how Ben was being treated and everyone else was being treated. They felt that. And these type of things echo it. So now the NFL's got a, a thing that they're going to have to do and they're going to have to address. So Jay-Z's doing his Charleston Heston role for the NRA. Come out here and give them a face. Well, it's been nothing but negative response after negative response for Jay. And he's big enough to take it. He's Jay-Z. But I have not seen him in this unfavorable light since Ether. So we'll see what happens next. But nope.
to Cap coming back and being a great quarterback again. And I'm like, he was never great to begin with. They figured out the pistol. He had to make passes, and he couldn't do that. He was not going to be anything but a basic quarterback who was going to lose his job in about a year or two anyway. But here we are. Who could he start for? Hmm? Let's be honest. Who could he start for? Cleveland? There'd be a backup in Cleveland? I mean, Jay-Z's from Brooklyn, right? Talk to the Giants owner. Tell the Giants they need cap, right? Oh, that's it. Jay-Z ain't capping for cap no more, even though he wore his cap. Oh, that's a wrap. 